Hey guys, just doing a quick video on this um, DBXL that was a petrol that I've converted into electric that I'm selling. See the link in the description. Might have sold already, but well, yeah. Enjoy the video anyway. Some of the things I've kind of, yeah, modified on it. The first one that I'm kind of. Uh, it's quite different from. I mean, obviously, it's the same as the E. This is not an E body, this is a standard DBXL body. I've modified to tip up which obviously makes it really convenient so you've only got two armor armor body clips that clip that clip in yeah so you don't lose those obviously it's nice and easy clearly flip it up of carbon fiber wrapped this yeah see no kind of creasing a while to do this you have to take off all the individual panels and I've redone all the kind of screws and as this kind of seat and there's kind of rubber seal around the out edge it's obviously wrapped on the inside as well um, did my own very very bright LED lights and I'll show you some shots of those on the front and back there's kind of four white and one red just to be a bit kind of different on the front and those are activated by a little push switch back here which is, I'm still yet to do the wiring before we'll finish it off anyway. I kind of tidied it all up here, but I haven't tidied up this little bit here. So the battery gets trapped in here and then there's the on off switch. So it's, there's no trailing cables kind of down here. It's completely separate kind of power, power to that. Obviously these are all cable tied in just to give it the kind of, yeah, nicer look. Um, moving on to, I guess the wheels, hostel wheels and tires um, and I did completely take off all of these and put um, duct tape duct tape on the inside and I've wired them on the outside because I have this on one of my other cars and it's worked very very well I don't think these are going to kind of balloon anytime soon this aluminium bit added here kind of Mad Max kind of style and these wheel nuts the spiky spiky wheel nuts I did file them off a tiny bit because they were ridiculously sharp but yeah just for the kind of look obviously the um, anodized shocks these are standard dbxl shocks just deanodized instead of them being red deanodized these i didn't do this but the guy before me did so everything he's kind of deanodized and i think the um the chassis as well has been deanodized just to match everything else um and moving on to the electrics i'm selling this with a max 5 i, I tried a few different kind of electrics in this but ended up going to this is one of my, you know, this is obviously a used Max 5, but it's perfectly, work, you know, it's working absolutely fine. It's more powerful than the um, the standard DBXL E, which is a Max 6, I think, yeah, which is the 150, 100, 160 amp, something like that anyway, but this is 200 amp, so it's more powerful. They both run AS, but this is more powerful. Yeah, I think it's 160. Um, so you can obviously run two 4S, you know, two kind of 4S batteries and there's plenty of space in here and I've actually checked these. These are from HPI Vorza I think, something like that. So these you can just unscrew and kind of configure how you want but you can fit two 8S batteries in here if you kind of so wish to run, you know, double the amp hours. So um, yeah, and my made my own to save on weight as well and kind of space. This is a carbon fiber Kevlar um, motor mount that I've made. And I have used this in another car, so it is tried and tested and yeah, stands up to it. It's, um, I'm running a 16 tooth, so it can go as small as a 16 tooth um, pinion. And the spur, I think, is, I can't remember, it's a standard one, 60 something rather, I can't remember, 61, 62, yeah, I forget now. But you can obviously go, there's space to, to move up kind of higher and higher. But on this setup, a 16 tooth is, you know, preferable really. And this is a, a Leopard, what is it? This is a Leopard a 910 kV motor, obviously AS capable. So that's what I'm kind of running on today to give it a, give it a try. And I have tested it out in the past and it's obviously been absolutely fine. All the diffs and everything are working as they should. Um, moving on to the center diff. I didn't, um, I kept the braking for this one because I wanted it, so it's just got four wheel drive. So if you did want reverse, well, you'd have to kind of disengage this kind of brake system here. So obviously the ESC can do reverse, but 
I was disengaged it because obviously the brakes are on when you're reversing. That's how it that's how it works. You can't have reverse and brakes. Um, doesn't really yeah, doesn't really work that way. So the normal DBXL does not have a like a metal center diff casing here, but the E version does, and that's why I put this in. So you're basically getting the same same kind of setup, but with this one, you've got the brake discs that does the braking instead of the motor doing the braking on the DBXL E. So obviously you get longer battery life on this because yeah, when you're braking on this, it's the, ba it's the discs that are doing it, not the batteries. Um, Savox steering servo, and I've got a low C. This is just what came with it, a low C for the braking here. Um, and another one to obviously spot because of where the um, chassis brace goes on here kind of comes down to you know comes down to here it gets in the way of where i wanted to put the battery trays hence why i've done this and this is genuine carbon fiber there is a stainless steel tube going all the way up and it bends kind of here contacts in here and then goes up to the front then it's been reinforced with a carbon fiber tube which is each wall is a millimeter thick and i've obviously cut them off to size and then used heat shrink to kind of go around them so this is obviously a lot stronger I like the kind of armors and things like that so that's why they've got you know the top kind of tower to tower kind of brace so it's nice and nice and strong uh, i'm trying to think what else oh, obviously let's put this down there's a brand new dbxl e wing which I just put on, and this is a, a genuine carbon, this is a three millimeter thick. The rest, this one here is just like PSA plastic, because it's not kind of structural. That's where the button is, and that's the, the back lights, obviously. You can kind of turn on with that button there. So, I the normal, obviously, DBXL does not come with a wing, so I bought the E, yeah, the E wing, obviously, just to kind of keep it with a theme, the electric kind of theme, and it looks obviously a lot better. So, I have mounted it into this bit of carbon fiber made up these big nylon blocks here 10 millimeter thick so the bolts go all the way through the top and come out the bottom of this carbon fiber because this was just plastic in theory if you kind of hit up here or sort of knock down then this could kind of crack whereas that's not going to crack and these are screwed down kind of inside here but I think that's about it but the rest of it will be in the kind of listing but anyway, I'll just give it a run and see how it goes. Um, one thing to mention, I'm sending it with this um, Flysky controller. This came with this car. Lots of people like these, but the range is, is pretty terrible. So if I was to try and go to the end of the field over there, it would not reach. It doesn't kind of continue kind of driving at full speed, but it's just not very good. So I'm selling it with this, but it comes with a kind of disclaimer, I guess, that the range is pretty poor. And these are very cheap as well. So. If anyone gets this, I'd recommend getting a new one, but at least you've, it's ready to kind of go. You just have to add your own batteries. I'm not selling it with batteries because um, they're quite expensive. Obviously not going to go mad with it because I'm going to break the thing or crash. But you can see the braking it is very good. Almost got me. <laughs> That's one thing to mention as well. Um, these cars are heavy. This one, I don't know how much this weighs. Probably with batteries, 14 kilos, 13 kilos, something like that. I haven't weighed it. So, yeah, not for small kids. I think, you know, 14 they say for some of the kind of eight scales. So, yeah, you've got to be responsible for this because obviously if this hits someone, doing max speed, which could be 40, 50 miles an hour. That's gonna hurt someone, so yeah. Not for kids, this one.
I'm obviously driving one hand as well with a, with a stick here with my thumb, which is not, not that easy. And that was it, just out of range there. You can see, it really stops on a dime here. Um, yeah, I um, hope you like this video, guys. Even if your this car has gone, you can see some of the kind of modifications that I've done to this, kind of pimp it up make it quite individual but anyway um yeah check out the description if you're interested or just kind of thumbs up subscribe for i i love kind of doing up my rc cars so you'll see lots of my other cars kind of coming up all my future videos but anyway like and subscribe all that kind of stuff thanks for watching guys see ya